Rise and shine, it is a beautiful spring day. Normally my alarm clock is my little fluff ball Tato. He comes jumping in on my bed because he wants me to get up and feed him. That is how I wake up in the morning. As I get closer to 30, I've noticed that my skin is really changing. And this last winter, my skin was drier than it's ever been before. So today I'm going to be showing you my spring routine and some things that have really helped my skin get hydrated for spring. I've really been loving granola and yogurt for breakfast, and I'm on the very last leg of my granola that I got from Avoca in Ireland. It has so much flavor in it, and I love eating it with like a berry or a banana mango yogurt. I normally have a little bit more granola than this, but since I'm running out, this is all I have right now. And I normally eat this while watching the news in the morning. It's kind of my time to get caught up on what people are talking about, what's going on, and getting a little bit of information in to start my day. After breakfast, I move into my skincare routine. This is something that's always been important to me, but especially now that my skin is changing as I get older. Because my skin has been drier and more sensitive, I have only been using really gentle facial cleansers because I don't wanna be irritating my skin or inflaming it more than it already is. Then I like following up with the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I just wanna say thank you so much to SK2 for sponsoring this video because if you watch my other videos, you know that I use it and I love it. It feels really light. When you start using an essence more regularly, you really notice how your skin starts to change. I like to use the essence by pouring it out directly into my hand and it really just looks like basically water in your hand and I like to pack Add it in so that way it really absorbs into my skin. It hydrates it and makes the tone and texture look and feel so much better. Fun fact, facial treatment essence is 90% pure Patera. And Patera is an ingredient that's packed with vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. And after you put the essence on, you can really feel that your skin is prepped for moisturizer and makeup. So it acts as a really good base for your bases. Another way that you can use the essence if you don't wanna put it directly in your hand is you can put it on a cotton pad. But I think it works best going directly into your hand and onto your face. And if you're interested in this, you can find it at Sephora. After the essence, I like to use a gentle moisturizer, just really sticking with the gentle theme here so my skin can be hydrated but not irritated. I also like putting on a little bit of eye cream and I prefer my eye creams to be on the thicker side for even more hydration. And now it's makeup time. I'm gonna start off by using my Bobbi Brown primer and this primer is hydrating but it also smooths over your pores and doesn't make you greasy. Next is foundation, and I'm gonna be using my Bare Minerals Original Foundation, but I'm gonna be using it a little differently today. To really boost the hydration of this foundation, I'm going to add a couple drops of facial oil and just put one or two drops in. I mix it in with the foundation while it's in the cap, and then I take my brush and then buff it into my face and you'll notice that the foundation just glides so smoothly onto your skin like it normally does, but the oil just makes it even creamier and extra hydrating. Under my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Hello Fab from First Aid Beauty 3-in-1 Super Fruit Color Correcting Cushion. I just dab my finger in this and I place this on the inner corner of my eyes and then bring it down underneath my eyes and it really helps to brighten up my eye area and cancels out any kind of darkness. Now it wouldn't be a makeup tutorial without my NARS eye primer. Surprise, surprise. So I'm putting that on so my eyeshadow stays in place. Then I'm gonna be using my Bare Minerals 5-in-1 Cream Eyeshadow in Barely Nude. And I love these cream eyeshadows because they blend so nicely. You can use them on their own or you can put eyeshadow on top and they're just a really great base. 
I'm gonna bring in my Bobbi Brown Luxe Nudes eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna start off by using this shimmery color at the top that really brightens up my eyes. I'm putting this on the inner corner of my eyes and bringing it about halfway across my eyelid. Then I'm mixing the light brown color with the peachy color and putting that on the rest of my eyelids. And then just using the peachy color alone on a crease brush, I'm going to add that to my crease for a little bit of added warmth. Moving on to my brows, which are still growing out, if you are wondering. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Brow Pomade, and I'm using two different colors that I mix together to get my brow color. I use the number 12 brush from Anastasia to apply this because I like that it has a spoolie on one end and then the angled brush on the other end. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in the Waterproof Formula. I'm using my Hourglass Blush Palette. This is also a continuing theme in my tutorials. If you remember, not so long ago, I was obsessed with the other Hourglass Blush Palette, so this is like the new version of that. And I'm using the pink blush in this palette. This just adds a really nice rosy glow to my cheeks. For even more glow, I'm using my Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Highlighter in Resilience. That is from my collection with Bare Minerals, and I'm putting this right on my cheekbones. So when I turn in the light, it catches the light and just looks really radiant and natural. To set everything, I'm using the First Aid Beauty Vital Greens Facial Mist. It's really hydrating and nourishing, but it also helps with shine. On my lips, I'm using a Marc Jacobs Liquid Lip Cream in Truth or Bear. These are really creamy and hydrating, and they also stay on for a really long time, which I love. And I'm gonna be mixing that with Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea lipstick in Pink Lemonade. I really love this combination because the two colors mixed together are perfect for spring. Now that I'm finished with my makeup, I'm gonna put a little dry shampoo in my hair and get dressed. I am wearing one of my favorite shirts. This is a striped linen blend shirt. It's great for springtime because it's really light and breathable. And my shirt is from Mother Denim. My pants are from Zara and these are olive green cargo pants. I think they're super comfortable and I love wearing them, especially in spring. I think they're such a spring clothing item. And then for my shoes, keeping it really simple and comfortable with my Vince Blair slip-ons. I have them in white and they're actually kind of dirty because I wear them so much, but hey, you know, they're shoes, they're meant to get dirty. I love how this outfit makes me feel because it just makes me feel like myself and I'm super comfortable in it and I also feel put together at the same time. All right, so that is gonna be it for today, and I hope that you all get to get outside and enjoy the beautiful spring weather. I'll see you later.